What's up everyone, Akawi here and today we have an interesting episode for you guys because we're going to be addressing an issue that has been around for a very long time. Overcompetition and high pressure in sports for young kids. This topic is something that Sun and Sand Sports really tapped into in their latest campaign where they showed us how we can reignite that passion for the game that we love and make sports fun again. First up, we have Amal Murad, and this is someone that truly inspires me because she's the first Emirati female in the sports of parkour. She's a trainer that really focuses on changing the narrative when it comes to pregnancy and postpartum athleticism, but also she's a great mother that is an advocate on making your kids fall in love with sports on a daily basis. Hello, Amal, how's it going? Hello, Allah, hello. Wallah, to be honest, I've always wanted you on this show, and what a better topic to have you on it, Sarah. I'm happy to be here, Wallah. It's like, it's you, Akawi, it's you. Me and Amal have known each other for a long time, but this is the first time Too in a long. setting where there's cameras, so I'm very excited for this. No, but on a serious note, I'm sure that you've seen a couple of videos that have surfaced online where we see a mother shouting at her daughter to do better, uh, parents challenging their kids. What's your take on that? I think it's pretty interesting how Kids are being pressured way too much, I think, already academically. So I feel it's sad that we're also doing this in a sports setting. Sports is supposed to be their playtime, basically. I know you have a lovely little daughter at home. How would you want her coaches to push her to achieving her best potential? They have to be kind, definitely. And they have to be creative. I think these are the two things I look for in a coach. Kids get bored very quickly, firstly. And secondly, they want to be continuously stimulated in different ways. Like, you make them explore. Exploration is number one for me. And do you also coach kids when it comes to either general fitness or parkour, correct? Yes, yes. How do you make it fun for them, but also you still want them to achieve and to, and to excel? I set up three different, for example, difficulties so that if he can't do one, he will be able to do another one. Do you do the same thing at home? What do you advise people at home to do? You use what you have. I think we rely so much on facilities. A lot of people are like, I'm looking for a gym. I'm like, start at home because they are young. They don't take instruction well. So you They don't? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. What do you mean? So you have to enjoy the mess at home, but you allow them to to play uh, and you have to be part of the play as a parent. And for us, we play the floor is lava all the time. And you, you're going to see the floor is off limits. Find a way, jump, leap, do whatever you need. But as long as you don't touch the floor, you're safe. How about we play a little Floor is Lava game to show the people at home? I'm ready if you are. Let me just say. I've, I've been ready. Let's go. I've been Let's ready. Go. Okay? Let's do it. We are now going to play the Floor is Lava. This We've is my set game something show. up. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see about that. We've set something up, but keep in mind, you can use anything at home with your kids. We use pillows, we use chairs, the sofas. Other kids. Don't use other kids. No. no. Let's go. Yalla. I want you. You ready? Cue music. Hands first, I tell you, hands first. You have to do it again? <laughs> go, go, keep going. <laughs> step, step, step. <laughs> like that? <laughs> like that? My next guest is Jafar al-Sawri, and this guy is an incredible athlete. He's played basketball all around the world, but most importantly, he mentors young basketball players in finding the right scholarship and building a career in sports. Hello, Jafar. Hello, Akkaw. How's it going, bro? First of all, welcome to The Plug, man. Finally, I made it. You made it? Yes. If you made it to The Plug, it means you made it, bro. Man, I'm happy. I'm the happiest guy in the world right now. No, but seriously, I'm happy that you're here. Take me through that journey of being a young athlete, um, knowing that there's this bigger goal that you want to get to. For an athlete to grow up in this region, at the time, you know that the emphasis was not really on sports. Um, so you kind of grow up with the notion that, hey, I want to play pro sports. And everyone will pat you on the back at first, and then they say you're going to grow up and you're going to think of something differently. Eventually, you 
create this uh, self-imposed pressure that you want to prove to everybody that you can do it. So when that happens, what did you do between you and yourself uh, to make sports fun again, to make basketball fun again? The moment you are a collegiate athlete or a professional athlete, you deal with a lot of kids and communities and summer camps and so on. And it kind of balances you out. You know, you're just like, oh, this is why I love doing this. Get out there and have some fun. And if we are working out and we're working hard, yes, we're working hard and we're giving 110% effort. But it's still, it should be under the umbrella of fun. So what happens when you're with one of your pro athletes and th- they're just swamped, but they still need to perform? And even if you tell them it's fun, he's going to tell you, bro, I understand. But there's still that expectation. How no. do you control okay. that from a mental aspect as well? So I'm probably not going to be putting them through um, an excessive amount of force that is very strenuous for their um, psyche. We're going to go back, scale it back a little bit to the basics. You know, a little bit of uh, proprioception, i.e., uh, you know. Proprio what? How do you <laughs> <laughs> proprioception. Eh. Never mind. Scratch uh, the proprioception. You just <laughs> said fun. Well, you got us into scientific <laughs> research. It's the, no, no, no. So um, you get them into like eye hand coordination, footwork, and a little bit of jumping and running around to get, you know, to get them flowing. I have a group of kids. They're a group of young athletes, right. great potential. They're from Jams Academy, which is one of the leading Amazing. basketball yeah. academies. I here. Heard. Do you have any proprioception? <laughs> Uh, skills up your uh, up your sleeve right now that we can go show them and we're not going to be targeting proprioception here we're going to be targeting <laughs> different <laughs> quickness drills agility stuff like that and a, a little bit of fun competition yes so yeah. let's go make it fun for them the purpose of today is to have some fun with basketball all right. Hello, don't worry because I'm playing with you guys. Oh, yeah. It's fine. I'm going to take it easy on every one of you. It's fine. We're all here to have fun. Sajafa. Yes. One, one, two, three. Make some fun. Hey! It's okay. It's okay. Good. We'll work on those hips. Come on. Go, let's go. 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 This brings us to the end of our show. To all you kids out there watching us, remember one thing. Just have fun with it. To all the parents, coaches and teachers, a piece of advice that we got from both Jafar and Emil today is use your imagination. Use your imagination to remind them of why they fell in love with the sport in the first place and most importantly, to have fun with it. This time, we have a TikTok challenge for you guys where we want you to show us how you make sports fun again throughout your day. Just make sure you hashtag make sports fun and tag SS Sports. And also, don't forget to like, share and most importantly, comment, comment, comment. Let me know what you guys think of the show and let me know who you want to see on the plug. I'll see you on the next one. Ma'as salamah.